Well, good evening again. <clears throat> And welcome to Queensborough's annual celebration of service. <clears throat> I'm Timothy Lynch, the interim president at Queensborough Community College, and it is my pleasure and honor to preside at this evening's uh, event. We are here tonight to pay tribute to our honorees who have literally spent a lifetime or a good part of their lives making a difference in the lives of the students who come to our college. Whether you have worked directly with the students by teaching them in the classroom, interacting with them as they register for classes, as they seek financial aid, as they join student activities, as they get parking tickets, <laughs> <laughs> or ensuring that they receive the best services possible, or whether you've been working behind the scenes, processing bills, filing paperwork, giving tickets, keeping official records, or maintaining a safe, clean, and exceptionally beautiful campus. Tonight is about you and you are to be commended. You are the ones who have made a difference. You have, are the ones who have dedicated a lifetime of service to helping our students create a better life for themselves and for others. Thank you for being a part of the Queensborough Community College family. We will now commence with our individual award presentations. I want to acknowledge and thank my colleague, Dr. Pecorino, from the Faculty Executive Committee, who will be assisting with me uh, this evening. <laughs> Our first honoree for the Department of Engineering Technology is Deputy Chairperson and Professor Bell Birchfield. right? All right, I guess I'm the lucky one to go first. Um, by training, I'm an electrical engineer. Um, this was the first teaching I ever did, and I really loved it. I've always wanted to be a teacher for all the time I was in school, all the way through my PhD. And basically because I really enjoy helping people, and working at QCC is really a wonderful opportunity to help people. Uh, to open doors and help students get to better places. And I find every day I come in, I have the opportunity to help make somebody's life better, and that means a great deal to me. I've been lucky enough to teach both introductory and advanced classes, and so I've seen students be transformed in a very short time. We see them for such a short time. I've seen them progress tremendously uh, in the short time they're with us. Um, and then it's been my great pleasure to see some of these students be successful beyond school and out in the field of technology. And that's also tremendously rewarding for me. But I have to say that perhaps my greatest pleasure is to see our students come back to QCC as faculty. And that is, I'm so excited for that. Um, and I think this attests what a special place Queensboro is and it holds for our students. Thank you. Enjoy the party. Thank you, Dr. Birchfield. Our next honoree for the Department of Building and Grounds is Franklin Blois. Thank you. 
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Franklin Blois. It's, it's been an honor and a privilege to work for Queensborough. You know, I've been through a lot here, but finally made it 20 years. And thank you all very much. <laughs> From the Department of Public Safety, Sergeant Sherry Grant. Sergeant Sherry Grant, if you don't recognize me, I'm in usually in uniform, so. <laughs> and today I'm dressed now, we do wear different clothes different, different days and different times. <laughs> I'd like to thank my bosses, um, Mr. Lake, Mr. Cunningham, but he's not alive, Mr. Locke, um, Rolando, Mr. Ron Hundley, and um, especially now Mr. John Trillo, he's a great boss. He's very nice. <laughs> I especially enjoyed my 20 years here at Queensboro. Um, one time I was going to be in NYPD. What made change my mind was President Marty. He sat down and talked to me. He said, "Why are you going to the NYPD? It's much harder than it is in Queensboro." <laughs> so I stuck around. I listened to him, and also the late great the hell um, hell marshal. I also spoke to her while she was alive, and then uh, she's still alive. <laughs> there were some other politicians I knew, and then my, uh, in my present and in my past, I had spoken to uh, in the Queensboro. They were very nice to me. And being at this college is surrounded by students and faculty staff. I know we are very close-knit as a family. No matter what happens, we always lean against each other and help each other with each other. I hope it goes on the next five years if I stay here five years. <laughs> so, thank you very much. <clears throat> you must have been talking about a different John Triolo, because the one I know. <laughs> <laughs> Our next honoree is from the Department of Chemistry, Professor and Chairperson, Dr. Sasan Karimi. Good evening. I'd like to start by congratulating my colleagues who are up for 20, 30, and 40 years of service. And my 20 years absolutely flew by, but I know it has passed because of all the gray in my hair. <laughs> Only some when I started. Must be the students. <laughs> But in all seriousness, the chemistry department uh, at Queensboro has come a long way within the past 20 years. When I first began here 20 years ago, most of the instruments and the equipment were obsolete and unreliable. There were no facilities for faculty and students to conduct research. In fact, during the first 12 years of my tenure, I used to travel to Queens College. I had the opportunity to uh, do my work there involving undergraduate students uh, from Queensboro. And I'm uh, happy to tell you that that has changed. And uh, uh, we now have two research facilities here on this campus that are equipped with the state-of-the-art 
uh, instruments and technology which the faculty and student use uh, on a daily basis. Uh, despite a full teaching load, our faculty conduct research with uh, undergraduate students, and their results of their investigations are uh, presented in different venues, including the Honors Conference here on this campus, and the Undergraduate Day, as well as the Undergraduate Research Symposium, which is actually sponsored by the American Chemical Society and hosted by one of the colleges in the tri-state area. Moreover, the students get to present their work uh, at some of the national, regional, and the local conferences of the American Chemical Society. And in some cases, the work gets published in peer-reviewed journals with uh, students as co-authors. I'd like to thank the administration for their support uh, for the past 20 years that I've been here. And I'd like to also thank my faculty, whom, with their dedication, have created a a uh, great reputation for my department. I extend my thanks to uh, Ms. Wendy Goldsman, uh, who is our assistant, who is our uh, administrative assistant, without whom I must say uh, the department would be in serious trouble. And I really mean that. Uh, last but not least, I'd like to thank so many of my students whom I have worked with over the years, and uh, they have worked so hard time time and time again, I mean tirelessly in the lab with me. And one of them is here tonight, uh, and uh, Billing Chen, thank you for coming. Uh, last, I'd just like to tell you that I've been privileged to lead the chemistry department now for eight and a half years. Thank you very much. Our next honoree from the Department of Accounts Payable is Manor, Manager Twana Lindsay. Good evening, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Good. I just want to say thank you, everybody here, um, for coming out and celebrating with us tonight. And um, thank, Queens, thank you to Queensboro for over 20 years of assisting me in paying your bills. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a pleasure servicing the employees and the staff here at the college, and I look forward to the future. Thank you. <clears throat> A senior college laboratory technician for the Department of Chemistry, Bruce Montalbano. Thank you for the recognition. Uh, it, I can't believe it's been 20 years, but it's been a very interesting trip. So uh, thank you to the chemistry department and to Queensborough Community College for being truly a great place to work. Thank you. From the Department of Engineering Technology, Professor and Chairperson Hamid Namdar. I hope. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you very much. I have a little note here. Uh, I'd like to thank, first of all, to all QCC members who work here. You guys are doing a great job. Without you guys, we really couldn't function, especially as a department. Thank you to the registrar. Thank you to admission, everybody. And thank you, Tim, for running this. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when I started here 20 years ago, uh, Professor uh, Lou Nashelsky, Dr. Nashelsky, was the chair of the ET department. And then after that, it was Professor Asser. Thank you very much for all your support and encouragement in the past 20 years. I, I have to say, I tell you, the ET department has this great faculty, you know, before and now, and they've been really, really doing a great job for us. But uh, I bet. Uh, one of the professors, Professor Richard Euster. I don't know if you know him. <laughs> I'm going to bet him that I'm going to beat his time here at UCC. <laughs> so that's 50 years. So I have 30 more years to go. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> but he's, he's doing a great job, too. So in past 20 years, uh, basically, uh, I grad three of my children graduated from college and they're working now. Now I'm starting to save some money, go on some vacations, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but they're still coming back. Oh, yeah. They say, Dad, I want to go to ShopRite. I said, why do you want to take me? <laughs> oh, Dad. <laughs> and they filled the card and I would go to pay. I said, okay, give me your credit card. No, oh, Dad. <laughs> So that's why they still come back. <laughs> so in the past 20 years, you know, I don't know, Sasan will probably know, we started at the same time. I think I had a lighter, a darker hair. I was a dark Persian person, right? <laughs> so I got a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter, but that's okay. I enjoyed every minute at this college and thanks for to all. Uh, so uh, it was great. It's very great working here. It was a pleasure working with everybody here at QCC, and everybody's doing an excellent job. I have to reward all of you working, and then this is basically you know, our job. We enjoy helping these young children from this city to be successful, and I'm sure everybody's doing a great job, and thank you very much. Thank you. The director of our career services, Ms. Constance Peluso. Wow, 20 years. <laughs> um, I know it went by. Um, 20 years ago, Pat Evanosky saw something in me and offered me this job, and it was my dream job in graduate school. This is what I always aspired to do. So I'm very, very grateful um, each and every day that I'm here at the college working. I love working with the students. I have a wonderful staff. Uh, a former staff member is here tonight, Lucille. Many of you know her. She was with me for 16 years, and I thank her for those 16 years. We we did a lot of things and we had a lot of fun. Uh, I also want to thank my present boss, Brian Kerr. Couldn't ask for more in a, in a manager, in a person than Brian. Um, when I came here, I had three children. Uh, I still have them. <laughs> they're not married. <laughs> and anyone who knows me always knows that I talk about the fact that they're not married. Um, but they were teenagers, uh, pre-teenagers at the time, and um, I just want to thank my husband, who's also here, Joe. Um, I couldn't have done it without him, really. He makes everything possible. So thank you again, and congratulations to everyone here. Thanks, friends. From the Department of English, Professor Dr. Regina Rochford.
Good evening. Although this is my 20th anniversary, I've actually been here 26 years. I started out at Queensborough in September of 1992 as an adjunct who came here to simply get out of the house because I had a little kid. <laughs> and I wanted to make a few dollars. On that day, I had no idea of the journey that I was going to embark on from being an adjunct with one master's to being a department chairperson with two masters and a doctorate degree and a whole lot of other stuff that went along with it. It's been a fantastic ride, a real good one. But I never could have done it without the support of the many department chairs that have supported me, and two of them are here tonight. And most importantly, my husband, who has suffered through years and years of education. <laughs> but he finally got his reward. Thanks for helping me make my dreams come true. Department of Foreign Languages and Literatures Chairperson, Dr. Laura Sabani. Good evening, everyone. I would like to share with you my feelings regarding my experience at Queensboro Community College. I must say that I felt welcome since the first moment I started working here. First as an adjunct lecturer in the Department of Foreign Language and Literatures, and later as a full-time faculty member starting during the spring 1998 semester. Dr. Juan Carlos Esturo was then the chairperson of the department. Soon after he retired, Dr. Anne-Marie Bourbon became chair, and she assigned to me the coordination of the Spanish program. There was a lot of work, but I couldn't complain. I didn't have my PhD yet, and when I was offered to work as a substitute, I saw the opportunity to continue working in my dissertation. I wasn't able to dedicate time to the dissertation during the week, for I was teaching many classes, and on top of that, I was coordinating the, larger, the largest program in the department. I even had to work on the coordination during the summer without pay. Back then, we, didn't, we did not receive release time for research, so for two long years, I spent my weekends in the library doing research, reading, and writing. There were times that I sat in front of the paper and I couldn't get inspired for I was so exhausted. However, I knew one day I was going to finish my dissertation and hopefully secure a teaching position here, one that had already inspired me to continue educating students and quite honestly would provide me with employment that I needed so desperately. I must say that without a full-time position at QCC, I couldn't have been able to achieve my professional goals or support my family, as I was a single mother of a young daughter. Throughout my years at Queensboro, I have met many people, most very helpful and kind, and some not so kind. <laughs> <laughs> However, I am grateful to each and every person I have worked with because I have learned from each and every one of them. They have been my teachers. So today, I want to thank, first of all, the audience for being here to celebrate these 20 years of service. I feel sincerely flattered for this recognition, and I thank you all for making me feel so important. 
I also want to thank people who, even though no longer were here, have been a significant part of my life here at QCC. First of all, Dr. Juan Carlos Esturo, who gave me the opportunity to work in the Department of Foreign Language and Literatures here at QCC. And Dr. Diane Cole, our former president, who trusted me with the leadership of my department. I want to thank the new members of the administration, as well as my fellow chairs, for being supportive and make my life as chairperson less complicated. I want to thank my students for giving me the opportunity to do what I enjoy the most. I want to thank my dear colleagues and friends who are accompanying me tonight. Eladia Raya, Sharon Reeves, Melida Sanchez, Julia Ortiz Giffin, Antonella Lanzani, Joe Coletti, Kathy Leung, eh, Julio León, Indra Evans, etc. etc. Et I want to especially thank Mrs. Ross Smirnoff, our secretary, who besides being extremely competent, has been my confidant, my consolation, and my friend. And last but not least, I want to thank my daughter, Marcela Regles, who is here with me tonight. Marcela has always been there for me, and she has always been the driving force behind my every thought and action. Thank you all. Thank you. From the Department of Public Safety, Sergeant Sakatu Chicharon. Uh, good evening, everybody. Um, it's an honor to be here. Uh, to spend this um, evening with uh, each and every one of you. Congratulations to myself and other reci recipients. Um, 20 years gone by quick. Um, I remember when I started a job, I said to myself, security job, I'll do it probably for two years and um, I'll move on. But after two years, I did left. But when I look across, I said no. The grass was green over there, but it's greener here. So I came back, and I, I have to thank um, the, the opportunity and the college for the opportunity that I had. I don't even work here also. I went to school, and I graduated with an associate degree in criminal justice. And um, once again, I thank the opportunity that I have, and thank everybody to be here. Have a wonderful evening. Queensboro graduate, I love it, very good. For the Department of Mathematics and Computer Sciences, Dr. Howard Sporn. First, I'd like to say thank you to people who have helped me, my colleagues in the math department, uh, the people who were chairs at various times, Joe Bertarelli, Mona Fabrican, Mercedes Franco, and uh, Dr. Bob Holt, who helps me with the math club, and of course, my wife Sharon, and the secretaries in the math department. I thought of two things that people had told me that I thought would be relevant tonight. First of all, my father was an electrical engineer, and he told me a couple of times that he really loved his work, and 
He said it was amazing. It was like solving a puzzle. It was fun. And not only that, they actually pay you for it. <laughs> I feel the same way about teaching mathematics here. So I, I think I'm, I'm very happy and I'm very pleased. The second thing I remember is uh, originally I was going to teach high school. And in order to prepare for that, you have to do student teaching in which you work with a, a more senior teacher. And that teacher told me, he said something very perceptive. He said, you've made a correct career choice if when you drive to work in the morning every day, you're actually looking forward to it. <laughs> now, I can honestly say that I really do look forward to driving to work every day when, I go, when I'm teaching math at Queensboro. So, so I'm very pleased and I'm very grateful for the opportunity. Thank you. From our counseling department, Dr. Jeanette Urtioli. Greetings, everyone. I'm delighted to be one of the honorees tonight. 20 years ago, I knew that Queensboro was a special place to work. While in grad school, I worked part-time here as a CUNY capper. CUNY capper is someone that graduated from CUNY and was currently at a, uh, grad school. <clears throat> and I was also doing an internship. And the internship had me going to home visits, usually not welcomed home visits, and um, it had me working out of a closet while meeting parents and children. And then I would come back to Queensboro and be like, wow, this is what, it's a huge difference. It was just beautiful atmosphere here. I recall telling my fellow social work classmates that I found a job that had the physical appearance and feel of a country club for social workers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course, there were challenges here too, but there's a lot of great support from my colleagues. I'd like to thank my colleagues who have since retired for encouraging me and supporting me to go for the PhD. I'd also like to thank my current colleagues in the Counseling Center for being a wonderful source of support, especially after working with some heavy duty cases. One of the most fulfilling parts of my job has been the reward I get from connecting to my students and watching them grow. It is an honor to be here but as one of my colleagues once shared with me, it is a huge honor to be that person that a student completely opens up to. Working with our student population and seeing them overcome huge obstacles inspires me every day to want to do more. Recently, I've been doing more on campus by joining the steering committee, a lot more, <laughs> and learning a lot about governance and policies. I look forward to my future here at Queensboro and continue to learn from my students and from my colleagues. Thank you very much. From the Department of Mathematics and Computer Sciences, Professor Patrick Wallach. Um, 20 years ago, I was just turning 30 years old, finishing my doctorate, and I was you know, starting an interview at, you know, for a full-time job, and Queensboro was one of the first places to offer me you know, a position. So I, thought, I said to my wife, you know, I'll try it out and you know, see what happens. I could always you know, go somewhere else, you know, another, another <laughs> college. And 20 years later, I'm still here, and this has become my home. And I've watched myself go from 
number 30 out of 30 full-time faculty on the seniority list to now six or seven out of 50. Um, I'm thankful to you know, my wife's Lori's support over the years and the understanding that you do bring a lot of work home and you're, I'm always grading something or writing something for work. Um, thankful for the wonderful department that's been very supportive over the years. The chairs have supported me, Mona and Joe and, and Mercedes and wonderful faculty that I've worked with over the years, many who have retired and, and moved into different positions, but I do get to see it at events such as this. Um, and I look forward to 30, 40, and I don't know if I'll make it till 50, but um, <laughs> it's nice to be, be here and have something to look forward to. Thank you. from the Department of Business, Ms. Brenda War. Thank you for honoring me tonight. My first experience with Queensborough was as a business student. One of the first people I met was Dr. Diane Call, who was my academic advisor. Queensborough has always felt very comfortable to me. My professors were caring and encouraged me every step of the way. I never left QCC. Shortly after graduation, I began working full time in the nursing department. As I reflect back on my 20 years, it has been a most rewarding experience. I have made lifelong friends. <coughs> For the past 15 years, I have worked in the business department. For the past five years, I've worked with Kathy Villani, who's the chairperson. I have learned so much from Kathy. The, the, the business department faculty are a terrific group of people to work with. I look forward to going to work each and every day. Thank you for honoring me. At this time, we honor adjunct employees with 20 years of continuous uninterrupted service from the Department of Foreign Languages and Literatures, Mr. Joseph Coletti. If I can't speak too well, I have laryngitis. I'll be yelling at my students. It's not true. Um, Queensborough has been my second career. I taught for about 30 years at the public school level, the high school level, uh, as a teacher, as a supervisor. Now I'm here as a teacher, and I love it. Uh, this is a special place. I enjoy, this is a solid uh, educational facility and the school is well run and I appreciate that because I made it very easy and uh, uh, possible for me to become a good teacher, a better teacher. And I think it was better for my students. I appreciate the administration for being so supportive and of course my department uh, for uh, the present and past chairs. And uh, this was a very fruitful and very rewarding experience. Thank you all. Thank you very much. <laughs> 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 
from the Department of Health Education, Phys well, Health, Physical Education and Dance, Mr. Vincent Vaccaro. I'd just like to say in the past 20 years, I have met such wonderful people, not only in my department, but in the other departments as well. And that's why it makes Queensborough truly an amazing place to work. Thank you very much. <clears throat> From the Department of Chemistry, Dr. Luis Vargas. Thank you, Queensboro Community College, for the opportunity to discover teaching. You give to the students the expertise of your subject, and they give you back the desire to keep teaching and keep learning forever. Thank you very much. from the Department of Chemistry, Gobin Vaswani. Good evening. Um, thank you for uh, thank you for my um, sorry. Thanks for uh, for honoring my 20 years of service. I enjoy working with QCC, and QCC is a nice place to work for. I still look forward for 20 years more. <laughs> thank you. At this time, we shall honor individuals with 30 years of full-time service. We'll begin with the Department of Social Sciences and Ms. Pamela Cook. I came to Queensboro in early 1988. Time has passed quickly and my experiences have been great. I've worked in the social scientist department for all those years. It was supposed to be a temporary arrangement that has turned into a career. Queensboro has a lot to offer. I was able to complete my degree. I'm also, I also enjoy the massage therapy program. I'm a regular there, you see. <laughs> I wish my schedule allowed more time to visit the Jim Pool Holocaust Center as well as the art gallery. 
QPAC ha offers great professional performances. If you get a chance, you really ought to go see. It's a rare treat to be honored by one's employer for the work that you do. And I hope it is a tradition at Queensboro that long continues. Congrats to this year's honorees. I wish you all the best. And thank you, Queensboro, for this honorary celebration, the 30 years and the quest. From the Department of Chemistry, Ms. Wendy Goldsman. Ten years ago, I was up here on the occasion of my 20th anniversary, and I cannot believe I'm still here again. <laughs> I've been so fortunate over the last 30 years to have formed a good working relationship with so many colleagues. Sasan, thank you very much for your kind words. We're a good team, and we work well together. Thanks to the administration for putting on an event like this and recognizing a service to QCC. Most of all, thank you to my family for your love and support always. Thank you. From the Department of Business, Professor James Rosa. Good evening. Uh, first, I'd like to give a shout out to my wife, Renee Rosa, who is sitting at the table over there. Please stand up. She, she is a Queensboro alum, class of, uh, we'll leave it. <laughs> when I was hired in 1987, at the time, I had a nice job, very secure, and I was offered a position in the business department, which I always wanted to do. And my father, who, was, who emigrated in 1929 to the United States, uh, wondered why I would leave a very secure job that paid well, where I had a lot of seniority, and they said to him, Dad, this is what I want to do. What could possibly happen? <laughs> a month later, the stock market crashed. And he said, see? 20 years later, in 19, uh, 2008, I was here. And that month, the stock market crashed again. <laughs> I have no regrets. I think t working in public education, there is no higher calling. I think the satisfaction level expects tonight where you have people who have worked for 20, 30, 40 years, enjoying every day, looking to come to work, looking to contribute, replaces all other compensation. I would, I'm going to hopefully be here in 10 years for the 40th, God willing, and with the support of my colleagues in the business department, my family, I'll continue doing what I love most. Have a good evening. Our final honoree of the evening 
with 40 years of full-time service to the Department of Business is Mr. Lane Bonaparte. First, let me say I appreciate the honor. Uh, it's been truly a pleasure working here at Queensborough for 40 years. Uh, there's a saying that uh, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. And certainly at the time that I came to Queensborough, I was involved in making other plans. That uh, grandiose expectation of perhaps working in the corporate world, CEO aspirations, and uh, life has been Queensboro. <laughs> what happens to you while you're making other plans? And it's been truly a wonderful life. Uh, 40 years here uh, has been truly rewarding. I've enjoyed working with my colleagues. Uh, we have very uh, professional faculty in the business department. Uh, we aspire to the highest level of education for our students. It's been an exhilarating ride, and I uh, appreciate the recognition and being here tonight. Thank you very much. At this time, we ask all of the honorees, 20, 30, and 40 years, to please gather near the photo banner uh, at our front door for a group, group shot, please. <laughs> 